Hi there, and welcome back to a fun formational moment with model horse history. This week, I decided to address what I could hear you yelling at me through your monitor. But what about? So this week, I'm going to talk about decorators. But what about? So what I talked about last week is kind of, in my opinion, the original decorator colors or the true decorators. Don't really know how to call them, but it was the gold and the blue. It's kind of just the metallics in the solids or the splatter dapples, variations on a theme, but when you see it, you know it. But what about? Briar has done lots of decorator colors over the years, so these I want to talk about are kind of variations on that core theme. So collectors love us, our decorators, and so Briar wants to produce more of what we love so that we will buy them. So they thought, well, let's take those decorator colors and let's do a little something different with them. One of the first things they did, I think originally the first um, Pinto decorator, I think was 97, somewhere in that time frame. Um, they took the decorator colors and made them a real horse pattern. So it's a unrealistic color, real horse pattern. So this happens to be Crescent City, who's in kind of a metallic blue, a decorator color, but with a pinto horse pattern or a realistic pattern on him. So this way they can do a little bit something fun with that metallic color. One of the other things that they did, I think they first did this like in 95, is they made them an Appaloosa. So this is the Lady Faze in gold charm. She's not marked but she is an Appaloosa, a blanket Appaloosa pattern. And this one they actually released, I think in three or four different colors, a, a regular real bay. And then this was like a chaser. So the decorator was the super special, but it's the gold non-realistic horse color in an Appaloosa pattern. Then one of the great briar rumors through the years was someone many years ago said when they were a kid in the 60s they saw decorator Christmas horses in red and green. None of these horses have ever been found so maybe they were customs that some business did for decorations. Um, but Briar liked that idea and so in 2015 they decided to release Flash at Christmas in green and red. They stuck to that original decorator concept of the splatter dapple, but in green and in red. And it was random choice which one you got. The next year they did Sherman Morgan. So now they've added a couple more colors to that core, but they kind of stuck with this same concept, kind of either solid, real horse patterns with fun colors. So this last year in 2019, they made me personally squee with happiness. They took the original um, zebra mold, which I love and wasn't produced for very long, only about five years from 2000 to 2005. And right at Christmas, or it was like Thanksgiving day, they decided to release him in decorator colors. There was, I think, four different decorator colors plus a chase, coal. I haven't opened mine, so I don't know what I got, but I thought I'd open it on camera and we'll see which one I got. So they, they again, stuck with that um, pattern of decorator colors. So they had red, green, blue, and gold, but they striped them like the zebra. So I'm very excited. I loved all of the colors. It would be super cool if I got a coal. Um, but I actually like the stripey ones the best. And I haven't opened mine, so let's keep our fingers and toes and eyes crossed and see if we get a coal. And again, very nicely packaged, lots of bubble wrap. Oh, well, I didn't get a coal, but it looks like I got probably my first choice color. This is metallic blue, and he's super nice. He's got a very pearly, it's not the regular white plastic of the um, model. They actually made him a pearly white, and then they put the blue decorator over the top. 
Um, super cute. I forget how many of each they made. It was like two or three hundred of each color. Um, I'd love to get them all because I just think that they're that cute. But again, decorators, uh, non-realistic colors, but kind of with real horse patterns. So this guy I would put in this particular type of decorator. And I'm very excited because he looks very nice with my Crescent City. And join me next time. I'll make another video and we'll talk about another little fun fact of information about model horses. Thank you.